Welcome to Kid Connection. We are going to learn about the good news that God gave us in the Bible. Our episode is called Extreme Makeover, Thinking Like Jesus. But before we get started, we have to sing our startup song, Living Inside Out. Let's go. I love the way you kicked. That was super good. Now we're going to sing a song about what it means to help us think like Jesus. The same attitude. Let's sing. Super. Thank you for singing and praising God. I loved it. What, does, what do I mean by extreme makeover? Thinking like Jesus. What do you think extreme means? Well, we've tried what it would be like to be happy. Okay, so if I'm just mildly happy, maybe this would be my face. 
If I'm a lot happy, well, maybe this would be my face. But if I'm extremely happy, well, maybe this would be my face. So you see what it would be like to be extreme is way past normal. Makeover means to change something and make it look different. When we are thinking like Jesus, because we have given our hearts to him, he gives us an extreme makeover. We think and act different. Let's say our verse together. Let me say it first. Have the same attitude as Jesus has, Philippians 2, 5. All right, we're going to say that together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Have the same attitude as Jesus has, Philippians 2, 5. Good job. Thinking and acting like Jesus is our goal, our extreme makeover. Today we're going to be talking about what it means to be humble. Our key point is we are humble before God. Humble. What is that? Well, I have some examples that maybe you can figure it out. So there are going to be two different kinds of acting. One that is a humble way to act and one that is not humble. So I want you to decide, are they being humble or are they not being humble? Let's watch. Oh, three times, I got you. You know, I really like to play checkers and sometimes I don't win, but that's okay because I love to play checkers. I love to grow flowers. I grow flowers all over my yard, but you know what? I think I am the best flower grower ever. Don't you think? Look at my beautiful flowers. I am awesome. Look at the fruit I'm growing. I am amazing. Look at this. This is something I do every day. You know, I was thinking, I must be the best fruit grower in the county, maybe the state of California. This is amazing. I can't believe how good I am. This is great. I love to be with me and my fruit. You know, I really like to draw. And I love to paint, too. But, you know, it doesn't always turn out exactly like I'd like it to. But I have a good time doing it anyway. Well, were you able to tell who was being humble and who was not being humble? Well, let's think about when we pray. You know that praying is just talking to God. So how do you pray? Do you do it like this? God, I have been so good. I really, 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 really want that bike. Or do you say, God, I am so sorry I said that bad word. Please help me to stop before I say it again. You know, to help us understand about being humble and what it means to be humble, there's a story in the Bible that Jesus told. <clears throat> And he told this story to help us. There were some people who thought that they were very good and looked down on everyone else. Jesus used this story to teach them. One day, there was a Pharisee and a tax collector. Both went to the church to pray. Now the Pharisee stood alone, away from the tax collector, when the Pharisee prayed, he said, God, I thank you that I am not as bad as other people. I am not like men who steal 
and cheat and have bad habits. I thank you that I am better than this tax collector. I give up eating twice a week and I give one tenth of everything I earn. The tax collector stood at a distance. When he prayed, he would not even look up to heaven. He beat his chest because he was so sad. He said, God, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. Jesus said, I tell you, when this man went home, he was right with God. But the Pharisee was not right with God. Everyone who makes himself great will be made humble. But everyone who makes himself humble will be made great. When we brag and boast, we point to ourselves. When we are humble before God, we point to God with our words and our actions. And as we saw with the tax collector, humble actions saves lives. It changes us. Let's pray. Dear God, help me to be humble before you. I am a sinner. I am not great. And I pray, Lord, that you will help me to show you in all of my actions and my words. And I pray for the children, Lord, that are watching, that they will understand what it means to be humble and to show you as the great God that you are in their lives. In your precious and gracious name, amen.